Hello everyone, I wanted to hop on here and make another video today. I recently did a project this past spring semester all about mental health and the impacts of COVID-19 and I made a lengthy blog post on some of the benefits of walking and how it can help with loneliness and just staying better mentally overall. And so I wanted to do this today in a video format in case some people would rather watch a video of me summarizing the information rather than reading a lengthy blog post. So we're going to be talking about the benefits of getting outside and walking today. During this quarantine, my Fitbit has never been so happy with me and going on family walks has definitely been a highlight of my time in quarantine. It's been nice to slow down and actually like smell the roses. And although things have been busy, you know, well, they were busy with school. They're not so busy anymore. Or I'm like reading books or, you know, spending time. <laughs> not explaining this well. During this pandemic and being quarantined in the house, my Fitbit has never been so happy with me because I've been spending a lot of time going on walks with my dogs or going on walks with my family. And it really has been a highlight of my time being stuck in quarantine and although things are really hard right now and not quite fun <laughs> it's better now that the weather is getting super nice but this quarantine is just a bummer overall and I want things to be better and go back to not the way they were necessarily I think we've learned that the way things were were not great but I want to go back to doing some more normal things but taking the time to get out of the house and walk around the neighborhood has been so deeply refreshing. And just being outside in nature and walking and, you know, getting a little sweat on because I will admit I um, do sweat quite a bit, even just walking. <laughs> but it has been really nice to just go outside and walk and I highly recommend it. So today we're going to be talking about some research that supports <laughs> walking outside and the or just walking if you have a treadmill I don't know but walking outside um can improve your mental well-being so let's get into that research so I found a study called loneliness and social isolation among older adults in a community exercise program a qualitative study and this was published in the journal titled aging and mental health and aims to dis decrease loneliness among older adults the research claims that loneliness and social isolation can play a significant role in the health and well-being of older adults. It is important to recognize that all age groups are struggling during this pandemic. The elderly might be having a difficult time adjusting, especially because a lot of them live alone and cannot have any visitors during this time if they live in assisted living or nursing homes or things like that. The research study also discusses the effects of a walking group on older populations. I believe this study is helpful to the overall topic of the benefits of walking because it emphasizes loneliness can impact anyone at any age. It also provides evidence that walking with others can have beneficial outcomes on one's mental health and general well-being. The authors of this study claim the lonely and socially isolated of this age group are at higher risk for dementia, depression, physical decline, falls, hospitalization, and premature mortality. They argued shared or group physical activity that is in nature or focuses on social interaction may decrease loneliness due to promoting social network development and strengthening friendship among participants. Group activities have shown to help participants overcome barriers to social interaction, such as avoidance. I know that a lot of people struggling with their mental health tend to avoid group gatherings because they often feel inferior due to their own internalized stigma. So group group exercise or even group activities can really help people who are going through things to recognize that they are not alone. During this research study, participants went on community walks, they attended health info sessions and participated in socialization sessions to kind of get to know one each other in the group. And overall, the participants found the program helped them meet new people and, and ha help them find decreased feelings of loneliness. They also showed an increase in physical and mental well-being. The study also argues participants showed a better perception of their self-improvement and others' improvement in the program. There was a collective feeling of pride for one another 
and the study concluded that there were also increased feelings of motivation among the group. Although it is not currently safe to go on large community walks, this study struck me because it reassures us that it is okay to feel isolated right now. It is normal to crave social interaction and time spent building relationships. Believe me, I miss this so much. <laughs> I will admit that this pandemic has made me want to interact more with others, and I'm usually the type of person to avoid these situations. I now desire to talk to the barista at Starbucks about their new muffin, or have small talk with my coworker about their weekend. These are things I never really cared to do before. I was always like, I don't care about small talk. I don't care, you know, about how other people are doing, even though that sounds rude. I just like, did the hi, how are you, whatever, but never really cared to listen to what they had to say if they were acquaintances. Obviously, if they were close friends, it was different. But now I, like, crave talking to strangers and having some sort of human interaction that's not my family, even though I love them. <laughs> but it just, it makes us recognize that we are social creatures and we need these types of bonds to survive. And it is hard to be isolated right now. So although this study definitely reminds us that we are social creatures and it is normal to feel isolated right now, it can also teach us and remind us of some things. The first being to reach out to the older adults in your life during this time. If they are living alone, they may be feeling especially lonely right now. Secondly, I recommend walking with your family or whoever you are quarantining with. I'll be the first to say that being in the house with my family all the time has caused some tension. My sister and I are like crafting comebacks and keeping them on the back burner for when the time is right. We like have fights about strawberries um, and stupid things like that. But she's also serving a big source of entertainment for me. We're in like the same age group, so it's nice having someone who can relate to the same type of things you're going through. And we've been trying to spend some more time together and make the most of it. And going on walks together has definitely give us, given us the opportunity to socialize and grow closer. I think this is the closest we've been in our entire lives. <laughs> Even as small children, I don't think we were as close as we are now. We adventure outside, we find new trails, and we make jokes. And it has made me feel like a little kid again playing with my little sister. Instead of playing with Barbies like we were when we were younger, we are finding new ways to have fun, which may be going on a walk by this lake and finding new baby turtles. So it has been fun and we are trying to make the most of it. If you do not have a sibling around or family members to walk with, consider calling a friend and walking while you talk. <laughs> Although they may not be physically there, it can still be a time to socialize and do something productive. It is hard to maintain connections with others when they are not physically there. I can definitely relate to this. From seeing people every day to then suddenly being states away, it's so hard to stay connected. I am so thankful for technology right now to stay in touch with my loved ones that are really far away. I want to close this video and say thank you for watching and listening to the summary of this information. If you want to read the study yourself, I will have it linked in the description box. And I just want to remind everyone that this time is not easy. I know that. I know you know that. We long for social connectedness and time spent with those closest to us. And hopefully, in the near future, we will have the freedom to be with friends and family in person. For now, we have to do with what we have. This too shall pass, and I am sending my love to everyone struggling during this difficult time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong, and I am with you.